Hey there guys, Neil here with a game review. So today I'll be reviewing um, via an in-game preview of the Star Wars game Uprising. It's in uh, association between Lucasfilm and Kabam. Uh, so while I want to wait for the game to load, a bit of an overview when you first launch the game. Um, you'll first be able to uh, create a Kabam account or sign in with Google Play Games if you're on Android and iOS games or what I think Play Center I believe is called something like that on iOS to tie your progress that way. Uh, from there you'll be you'll get into your character creation screen so you can pick from male or female and then um, three or four different races. I picked a uh, Zabrak but you can pick a uh, human and I believe Iridonian as well. And then you'll be able to do things like change your uh, skin tone. Um, if like, and if you're a Zabrak, which I'll sh um, as well, you can do things like change your tattoos and horn style. So what I'm doing is actually unequipping my helmet, so you guys can see um, what options you have for um, the Zabrak side of things. I didn't check the other ones to see what's available, but. Um, this is kind of a preview of what kind of options you get. So this is what we have. This is what I picked, the hair color 8 of 8. By cycling two, through them, you get these different colors. So uh, different options there. And then uh, this is, all, of course, after the fact that you can change. So I picked Tattoo Style 6 of 6. But um, cycling through them, you can see the different um, options. So if you want to change that after the fact, you'll hit Save at the bottom right and go from there. Um, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, no changes on my end because I like the way it looks. Um, and then once you pick all of that, you can set your first and last name and you're all set. You'll jump through an initial uh, few rounds of tutorial so you get the idea of um, how you move, roll, and upgrade items, things like that. And then in the end you'll um, show up in a cantina similar to this one. You can uh, pinch in to zoom out and then slide in to zoom in and uh, wander about. So the story for the game starts in a NOAA system. The time frame is between Star Wars episodes uh, 6 and 7 after the destruction of the second Death Star and the Emperor's and Darth Vader's deaths. So um, that's kind of your time frame. You're, current, you're starting your story in debt to a smuggler named Happy Dap. Um, I'm not quite sold on the name, but I guess it is what it is, um, and you have to pay off the debt and do different uh, tasks to pay it off. Um, once you start getting and accomplishing different missions, then you'll get more in your inventory. So, for example, I uh, you'll get a helmet, um, a weapon, gloves, and things like that. Touching the item will allow you to equip it. Um, from there, you're also able to, once you get various items, level up your um, various um, add-ons. You'll get, in the grid of boxes you see on the right, you'll get um, these energy packs. Once you select them, you can upgrade them and get additional um, points. So if you see the helmet at the top right here, the green one, the one that's selected, I have a lot of points. And then I have another helmet in my inventory. Um, which when I go back, I can see kind of what the um, rating is there. And then once your your additions have maxed out as far as what you can level them on, you'll get a little icon that says max, so you know you can't upgrade it anymore and you need to focus on other things. So that's upgrading your character. Um, you can also do supply runs after a couple of the rounds. Um, basically, you put in some money. It's kind of like rolling the dice on getting additional items. And... Um, you can pay in some money and get that. Um, I don't. I have, don't believe I have some money to do it, um, or I guess not in this case. So I can't really uh, do that at the moment. But as you get that at, um, that money to do that, you can get additional items while you're not on a mission. So uh, going back, that's pretty much it. I've done all the tutorials, so it's a matter of um, picking this um, mission tutorial se section on the top or on the right side of the screen and um, touching the missions I can see I see exactly what uh, missions are available so um, there's this daily credits mission um, I'll give that a shot and see what I can get from that usually most levels at the beginning will tell you what you um, will get by completing the mission um, and it looks like this is um, above my rating so I can't actually accomplish that mission 
So I'll go back, try this other one, see if um, this Rapido Mill Mission is uh, more my style. So um, the minimum rating is 298, my rating is 352, so I can do it. The success chance is a bit risky, but um, and you'll also get a message saying that it is a bit more difficult than it might than might be possible. So I'll give it a shot anyways. Um, for the most part, the earlier levels are a bit on the easier side. It can be a bit tricky, to, so you have to be sure you are able to do it and you got a hang of uh, moving around, shooting, um, the weapon style, and things like that. And I always make sure, I'm still making sure that I'm uh, all my equipment is as upgraded as possible, so I have uh, good enough equipment to protect myself as well as a good enough blaster to uh, fight off enemies. So this is an um, in-game start, so same thing here, you can zoom in and out. Um, I try to keep it zoomed out just for personal choice. And it's always good to poke around some of the extra areas because you might have uh, crates that um, you can see in where to have equipment. And in this case, you can, um, by sliding back on your character and dub double tapping, you can um, escape. You get a red um, little thing around you that tells you when a, a bomb is about to uh, come at you. So if you need to avoid it, it's always good to... Um, double tap and roll out of the way. I like the rapid uh, blast on the weapon to attack multiple enemies. So that's um, of note. Your top left of your screen will show your health meter, so 544 out of 700 at the moment. Uh, you do get back to tanks every so often, so it's important to stay on top of things like that. You'll see a blue um, back to tank in the event that you need to uh, replenish your health. Uh, in order to get gates, you'll see these yellow lights to open up gates. It's pretty straightforward on that part uh, to get through gates. Nothing too tricky or any way thing to um, hinder your progress of the mission. Um, there's generally no um, indication that you're gonna be attacked like that. You just see guys. Um, Uh, coming at you, so it's important to commit, um, roll out of the way. Uh, one of the missions you get, or one of the side quests that you get in the tutorial is uh, an extra training ability. So in my case, I chose uh, Fear to, uh, to Intimidate. And that, as you can see, that back to tank jumped me from 400 and something health to 660, so um, I'm good to go there. Uh, so far, no other crates or anything like that. Um, and in this case I was able to see, um, some of those, uh, enemies. So, um, basically I'm just trying to finish them off, get out of the way a little bit. Uh, nothing too difficult about them. Um, as you can see, I prefer more of the gun at the moment, but I'm working my way up to actually get a sword, so... And in my cases, I do have trouble still doing the roll, so it's, um, uh, it's something that I need to make sure I am able to do. And, uh, that's one of the biggest features I do like, though, is the ability to do the rapid fire against um, different enemies. So as you can see, there's a crate hidden out here. Um, it's important to um, look out for those just so when you finish the mission you have um, some of those extra here. So, uh, so far no other back attempts, so I don't know about I'm getting close to half the energy, so I hope, I'm hoping that the level is going to continue. Um, but um, I spoke about the early, so there's some um, back to there. Um, so I do have some enemies coming out. I have one time I am able to get the uh, uh, last of the five down the the most uh unstable features, but um that's, so that's one thing I would do recommend and uh we can I think so um quickly um to um uh, make sure you learn how to get um access that as much as possible. Um but other than that that's really all there is to be early levels in the game. Um, 
Also very very important to make sure you um, pick up all the um, make sure you get all the different uh, items that are dropped just so you have that extra loot. Um, and as you can see, I don't know. Oh, right. so I probably do need to go in the other direction a little bit. Um, Actually, that's where I came from, so I'm not quite sure where I need to go from here. So, it's just a matter of poking a little bit and looking for a finish uh, zone. Um, Probably why there was a random guy stuck in there. Actually, I'm not sure where these guys are coming out or why they're even coming out like that. It's kind of weird. Um, so we do have a meter that shows that um, you know, how much power you have left. So now that the board then you get a little ring like that. That your mission is done. Uh, so when the mission is done, you do get a summary of exactly how much you've won. So in this case, I've got 210 credits and a bunch of random equipment to upgrade my armor and weapons. So finishing it up, it'll often give you, uh, or sometimes it'll give you a little summary of what you, how much you got. Um, so when we go back to the screen, I'll show you how to upgrade your equipment and how much of an upgrade you get based on what your uh, what you claim. So touching on your character creation screen and then hitting ability or inventory, uh, something I've wanted to check as well is the abilities. Um, this is where you get things like your intimidation, that's what I picked. You can pick other ones as well. Um, your holdout blaster, so uh, you can select any of that as a means of rapid fire and then your diving and rolling as a means of escaping enemies. Um, the components, it shows exactly what you have in your inventory, so things to upgrade your equipment with and all of that. So going back to your inventory, so in this case I can still, uh, for example, upgrade my, um, my bracer. So when you click level up, you'll see these um, little bars. So selecting them, there's 400 each, you hit level up, it does cost you some gold. And then it'll show you exactly how much you um, upgrade. So I went from an earlier level up to level 10, you hit continue. And so now, when you go, when I go back, I'll know that I see the extra attack rating and uh, extra bonus that I get by having it equipped. Uh, since I used all of them to upgrade that, I'm trying to upgrade my helmet. I'm not going to have anything left until next time. Um, so that's really all for individual missions. You can also do crew runs. So once you get that ability to have an extra team member, you can ha send them on a crew run to get other. Um, um, items for you. So for example, I want to, if I want to send, um, my, uh, crew on a mission, there's no such, uh, straight there, so I'm not going to send them on that one. Uh, same thing there, um, themes that, um, or I guess I have to pick, I did it backwards. So, um, in this case, I'll try the first one, Crystal Finder. So, um, I'll send my extra uh, mem team member on a mission and um, let him at it. So uh, that's really all there is for that. The game, um, and it actually it'll also tell you how much time is left for the mission to complete, so be sure to do that. So if you want to know, so the uh, success story is actually pretty interesting um, because it tells you how much of a chance you have to win. So. Since it's all about the same for this one player, so I'll try that one just for the sake of trying it, and I'll check back in half an hour. So that's really all there is for um, Star Wars Uprising. It's your basic uh, RPG. You get to your standard missions, upgrades, um, 
and things like that in this cantina there's a there's also the standard chat room so if you want to chat with other players and want advice or help or things like that uh the settings menu in the game is pretty straightforward your music sound effects damage text all of that if you want to change what um characters in case you have multiple you can do that it's a pretty straightforward screen there um this your rotation between characters um i only have the one just because i'm playing the one but um if you have more than one then um give it a shot so um i'll touch the my character and go back to the game but that's pretty much about it uh, make sure you have enough or fo in the beginning especially make sure you follow how much um success rate you have that's the biggest thing that's helped me out so far um but overall, it's a pretty good game, visually uh, fun to play, and it's very straightforward. So uh, that's all for that. So if you have any questions, um, need any help, or want me to poke around a little bit el um, elsewhere to help answer your questions, you can always email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com or find me on Twitter at patelin01. But that's all for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.